Okay guys, today's been pretty wild. We've been going, we just completely changed all our plans for our breeding room, but I think you guys are gonna like the changes. And of course, if you subscribe, then you're gonna see the videos of it as soon as we get a little bit further. But meanwhile, in the days of our life, we got a nice little clutch here. There's an ugly egg. That'd be amazing if that's alive, but you never know. This one blew his way out. And that's a tiger head caramel. Now, let's check this one, just for kicks. Ooh. That's a super a, tiger head caramel. Is it a paradox tiger? <laughs> no. It's a super tiger. That's a nice Ooh. One. Jagger too. See? Bad eggs, good snake. <laughs> Bad egg, good snake. So let's see what we get here. There's a tiger. Tiger, pet. That ain't a tiger hat. I like to pop the little membrane, but there's an albino tiger, also known as a caramel albino. Now these are the unique ones, is in the respects that they they actually change colors as they grow. They start out light, and the darker. The older they get, they get darker and darker. And we think that part of that has to do with the temperature. When you get snakes get older, they, we keep them in a bigger gradient. And they seem to get darker and darker. And we've been playing around a little bit, trying to make them turn darker earlier, and it seems to work. But we haven't, like, you know, been too worried about it, because they all turn dark anyway. It's a super. A normal caramel. Another ugly egg. Paradox? Nope, no paradox. Not even a brindle. Nice looking though. Looks good. One of our friends hatched a nice beautiful brindle. We haven't had one for a while so we're dreaming of a brindle. That's a dwarfy looking little dude. There it is. Good looking snake. Hope it, I'm not going to yeah. Break that one, let that one ride it out, see how it does. It's a little. Low amount of, low amount of albino so far. Some people pour all the juice out of them. I don't know if I'm that excited about doing that. I say it rushes them out, but I'm not in a hurry. Only reason why I cut these is to protect them. Yeah, all of a sudden the albinos are looking pretty good. That's a beautiful albino. I was gonna say that's a nice one. Of course, when I say albino, I'm talking about caramel albino. Blondes. T positive. T positive. Ooh. Ooh. Nice super. That's a ridiculous pattern on a super. We may have to cut a little bigger hole and take a peek at that. Just out of curiosity. Ooh! That's a gorgeous super. That's a nice one. That one may have to be Jagger too. Caramel Jag. Alright, another albino. Look at this big old juicy thing. Another, another caramel albino. Yeah, I know you're thinking I'm gonna cut the cut the snake, but that's why I don't use scissors. 
So I think when you use scissors, you have a tendency, you got something there going like this, snip, 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 snip. And what happens when something gets in that snip? It's gone. You got a razor blade, you got three things in play. First of all, I don't put it in very far. So second thing is the snake has to be pushing against it really hard because snake skin's tough. And the third part is I'm putting my finger in there to block it. Another albino. So I take it and scratch it and see, and if you look at the scratch, nothing even comes out. And then I take it and I actually tear it. See? And then I start it. And I put my finger in as a block. So, <clears throat> so if you're cutting your first ones, take your time. See, see, there's nothing really coming out. And then I take it and I break it. Boop. And then I rip it. And I put my finger in the block. It's pretty hard to do that with a pair of scissors, but whatever. You can do it. It could be done. The most important thing is you do it in a way that you know how to do it. You worry about your way, I'll worry about my way. I've done this a couple times and it's worked very well for me so far. <clears throat> when I come up with a better way, I'll do it that way for myself. Nice beautiful tiger hat. Oh, my achy breaky back. I'm waiting for that one special egg, and after I hang up on you guys, probably, hopefully, one of these guys will poke out two heads or something. Well, the last class, a bunch of them did. They just. Had two snakes too. Yeah, <laughs> last cut had, had some two heads too, but they were just like he said. Oh, Unfortunately, they had two snakes too. I think we had three or four sets of twins in the last caramel clutch. So the last caramel clutch had three or four sets. I haven't seen a twin yet, unless that's a twin, but I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, two eggs left. This one here is leaked out. Look at that. Now this guy here is working on empty probably. And then also when there's a kink like that, the snake can't be in between the kink. That's how I actually tear him if I... Well, that's a tough egg there. Well, that's a rejected one there. Probably why the egg was like that. Twins? Look! Twin! Twin rejects! Poor guys. Oh! Is that one a reject? Yeah! yeah. He's a reject. This, is a, this was a twin and a reject. This one I don't think is even alive. So that there is what you call not a good egg. Good news is, I don't see anybody else that's anything but awesome. Yeah, they all look really good. Nice and healthy. And another caramel albino. Yeah, I think we evened it up pretty good. Started balancing it back out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, like, if I go like that, then obviously I can start any way I need to. There's no snake in there. That little part. Another caramel. That's a really small snake in there too. So we, well, this is upside down. Hasn't flipped completely yet. Can't really see him because he's, he's kind of, the seg was on the side. Now you can't see past them belcal cord and stuff. So that one looks okay, but I mean, as much as I can see. So let's see here. And you guys have two, look at that. What do you guys think about that? Beautiful. That has got a beautiful, beautiful. So that other super, that other super was awesome. Only one head, look. Look at that. Check that out. How often do you see one of those?
That's one of those normals. <laughs> hit for something. Everything's hit for something. That one's looking nice. Nice albino. Albino. I think this is an albino super. It looks like it. Look at that head. Boop. So, anyway, if you guys go ahead and subscribe to us if you're not bored to tears. That was kind of a long video. We got some cool stuff coming. And, uh, you might as well know about it when we put up the put up the uh, video we're about mm, we don't want to admit how many videos there are we behind of putting up but well, let's just say we're going to probably put up 20 this week to start catching up so take care guys hope you're enjoying stuff if you have any questions don't forget to contact us on our Facebook prehistoric pets and uh, so you can send us messages there and give us a little bit of time to get back to you we'll get it back to you and uh, of course you can also go to uh, J Brewer and that's just Jay Brewer, that's my, my personal Facebook, and then Tim O'Reilly. And the cool part is now that Facebook has made their change, you can subscribe to us. So that means that, you know, because you can only have 5,000 friends for a personal page. So the good news is there's all the room in the world for subscribers, and pretty much I leave my Facebook where you can comment on it anyway. So you're more than welcome and uh, to check out some pictures. And if you're wondering where those updated pictures are that you're never going to see of the animals, they're on Facebook. <laughs> we'll work on getting updated video pictures too of some of the uh, video of some of the stuff too.